Praise the Lord, everybody. Uh, was like, was like a, a little small ripple in the back. I said, praise the Lord, everybody. Yeah, yeah, come on, let's stand on our feet. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is the day that the Lord has made. I shall what? Rejoice and be glad in it. Is anyone glad to be amongst the people of God today? Come on, don't just show me. Let me hear you. Is anybody glad to be with the family of God this morning? Hallelujah. Lord Jesus, we honor you right now. We lift up your name. We say you are great. You are magnificent. You are holy, Lord Jesus. There are so many words that we can use to describe you. Yet there are not enough words to be used to describe you, Lord God. And we just invite your presence this morning. Come on, church. Just begin to open your mouth and just begin to invite Jesus into this place. Tell him how much you love him. Tell him how grateful you are. Tell him how much you need him today. Jesus, we are madly in love with you. We are so grateful for every amazing thing that you're doing in our lives, in our families, in our communities. And we say today, Jesus, be glorified in this place. Hallelujah. Be magnified in this place. May your name be lifted up, Lord. Your word says if you be lifted up, you'll draw all men to yourself. We want to see you lifted high today. We want to see you exalted. We want to see your name praised. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody clap your hands before the Lord. Hallelujah. Come on. Come on, clap with me. Come on. Say you are Alpha and Omega. You are Alpha and Omega. You 
126. Psalms 126. Cuando Jehová hiciere volver la cautividad de Sion, seremos como los que sueñan. When the Lord brought back the captivity of Zion, we were like those who dream. Entonces nuestra boca se llenará de risa y nuestra lengua de alabanza. Then our mouth was filled with laughter and our tongue with singing. Then they said among the nations. Entonces dirán entre las naciones grandes cosas ha hecho Jehová con estos. The Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us and we are glad. Grandes cosas ha hecho Jehová con nosotros estaremos alegres. Bring back our captivity, O Lord, as the streams in the south. Haz volver nuestra cautividad, O Jehová, como los arroyos del Negev. Those who sow in tears shall reap in joy. Los que sembraron con lágrimas, con regocijo segarán. He who continually goes forth weeping, bearing seed for sowing, shall doubtless come again with rejoicing, bringing him sheaves with him. Irá andando y llorando el que lleva la preciosa semilla, mas volverá a venir con regocijo, trayendo sus gavillas. ¡Aleluya! ¡Aleluya! We are free of Jesus. Somos libres en Jesús. ¡Aleluya!
hacerlo aquí ya que llegaron los pastores. Así como David cantaba, así como David danzaba, así como David fluía en su presencia. Church family, welcome. Oh, a little quiet. I think we're gonna have to play that song again. Let's, let's try it. Let's try it in a different song. Familia de la fe, bienvenidos. Welcome to, to Avalon Church multi congregational service. And they say it was going to rain, but they didn't know that it was going to rain blessings in here. If you had enough strength, you are blessed. Uh, what, a, what a special, special time to be sharing with the, with the faith family. Uh, you're in for a treat. We've been praying and, and planning this for a while. And thank God, thank God it's a Sunday that we can get to honor and praise God. Amen? Yeah. Amen. Let's give a big round of applause for God. Lisa Hernandez, are you in here? Right here. Um, I want to ask, would you give Lisa and all of the people who signed up to help today a hand? Because they worked so hard. We were all texting yesterday all day saying, okay, what's the weather going to be like? And then and we, you know, we realized that even... Because we were looking, we knew it was going to be sunny by the time it was 11. We're like, should we do it? But then we started realizing uh, when you walk, you should just enjoy, do what I did this morning. Go walk out in the field. It's like, whoosh, whoosh. And you're like, okay, okay. It was wise not to have the uh, outdoor activities today. I'm disappointed. I know many of you are. But I want to let you know. Those of you, you have your kids with you and you're like, uh, what are we going to do? Today is going to be a shorter service. There's not going to be a lot of this. There's going to be a lot of singing and a lot of this fellowship together. And so we're just excited to be here and be a part of this, this community service together. Now, I needed to ask you, William, what year uh, was it that the Spanish ministry started so long ago? Uh, 2012. 2012. Okay, so 11 years ago. service that uh, that William uh, and how many were there? Eight. Eight people. Okay, so 11 years ago, eight people got together and said, we want to begin a Spanish ministry here in Avalon Park. And then, I don't know if you know this, but it was five years ago this month that you became full-time as, as a pastor. Five years ago. Woo! Exactly. And that was about the time 
that a Spanish ministry really became a Spanish congregation, a Spanish church. You guys, uh, and, and I don't know if you know this, but even in the last couple of years, you have the Spanish congregation has doubled in size. And, so I was excited about what God is doing in the story. And so here we are today, two congregations, English and Spanish, that are sisters in Christ, brothers in Christ, coming together. That's what this is today. So before we sing some more, I wanted to read two scriptures to you. The first one is found in the, the book of the Gospel of John. And this is Jesus talking. And Jesus said, your love for one another will prove to the world that you are my disciples. Your love for one another will prove to the world you are my disciples. You know, we live in a divided world. Being mean, oh, did you want to read it in Spanish? I'm sorry, I just turned it around. Why don't you read it in Spanish? I forgot. El mundo sabrá que por tu amor ellos son mis discípulos. Si no aman unos a los otros. Are you done? Okay. I'm, 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 I mean, people don't agree on everything and don't listen to each other, right? Mean is the norm. We, we see uh, people who are just inconsiderate at, at school and at work. Driving, ah, uh, driving is so common. Politicians are so used to uh, backing their own party or loving their own party more than the country. We see selfish is normal. This is the world that we live in. Everyone who disagrees with us, it's like they're foolish, they're wrong. And, and here we are as a church, and despite the amazing programs and all of the things that we do as a church, our unity together is our greatest witness outside of these walls. Amen? Amen. That we are one body, yeah, one family. And so my second verse is out of 1 Thessalonians, chapter 2, verse 8. It says, and this is the Apostle Paul talking to the, the Thessalonian church. And he said, we loved you so much that we shared with you not only God's good news, but our own lives too. Porque nuestro gran amor, tan grande nuestro afecto por vosotros que hubiéramos querido entregaros no solo el Evangelio de Dios, sino también nuestras propias vidas, porque habéis llegado a sernos muy queridos. We don't just love each other. We like each other. We are able to live life together. We are able to live out the good news of Jesus Christ together. And I'm telling you, church family, that changes the world. People have not seen that kind of unity. And so look around. I want you to look at our family together. There is every race, every color, every background, every culture in, in, in the Orlando area. And it is in here. And it is so beautiful that together we are not many, but we are one family in Jesus Christ. to share just a, a couple of uh, announcements that I know um, relate to us. The English service, I wanted to remind you that tomorrow night at 7 p.m. is our family meeting. would love for you to come and be a part of that. And for everybody, I um, wanted to let you know that we have new giving boxes in the back. If you came prepared to give with your tithes and offerings today, I just wanted you to know those are available. How about we continue singing? Yeah. All right, let's stand up and let's sing.
So by the end of today, you're going to be speaking Spanish. Okay? Yes, there you go. It's okay. It's okay. So say with me, unidad. Unidad. That means unity. That's in case you don't know. Okay? Yes. What we now? Oh, we. Oh, I get it. There's always one. There's always one. So we're going to share from a, a passage briefly that God has put in our hearts concerning what we're doing today. Okay? Voy a compartir un versículo que Dios puso en nuestros corazones acerca del propósito del día de hoy. What's today's purpose? It's not only to sing or hear Pastor Mike sing in Spanish. We did a great job. Okay. It wasn't also to show, showcase Rodrigo and Indiana, father and daughter, serving together. Chani 
over there doing bilingual, even though he's trilingual today. Yeah. And, we can't, and we can't forget our lovely Jeffrey, you know, you don't see him much, but he's there. And the, my, I mean, my, my personal opinion, the, the best looking guy in the whole band, Jeff. Yeah. <laughs> and our lovely testimony, uh, he's over there, uh, Samuel, Anna, right here. Beautiful, beautiful people from every combination. So the verse I'm going to be sharing today, el versículo que voy a compartir hoy, lo encontramos en el Evangelio de Juan, capítulo 17. The uh, verse that I'm going to be sharing uh, from today is in John, chapter 17, and we're going to start with verse 20 to 23. I'm going to ask Pastor Don to read it in English because my English is no, 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 no. And then I'll do it in Spanish. <laughs> Uh, my, uh, this is Jesus praying. He says, my prayer is not for my disciples alone. I pray also for those who will believe in me through their message. That all of them, all of us, may be one, Father. Just as you are in me and I am in you. May they also be in us so that the world may believe that you have sent me. I have given them the glory that you gave me. That they may be one as we are one. I and them, and you and me, so that they may be brought to complete unity. Then the world will know that you sent me and have loved them, even as you have loved me. Yo voy a leer de la Reina Valera, 60, y dice, Mas no ruego solamente por esos, sino también por los que han de creer en mí, por la palabra de ellos, para que todos sean uno, como tú, oh Padre, en mí y yo en ti. Que también ellos sean uno en nosotros, para que el mundo crea que tú me enviaste. La gloria que me diste, yo les he dado, para que sean uno, así como nosotros somos uno. Yo en ellos y tú en mí. Para que sean perfectos en unidad. Para que el mundo conozca que tú me enviaste. Y que los que has amado a ellos, como también a mí me has amado. Este versículo es un versículo muy especial. This is a very special verse. We're not going to do a whole exposition of it, but I just want you to remember five things. Hay cinco cosas en este versículo que necesito que nos enfoquemos. Primero, la palabra uno es repetida tres veces. The first thing you need to know is that the word one is repeated three times. The three of your ones, if you, if you want to think that way. If he's repeating it, and this is Jesus' words, this is Jesus' words in a prayer to the Father. We are now privileged to, to partake in a prayer that Jesus is, is doing to God. Somos privilegiados de poder compartir de una de la oración de que Jesús le decía a Dios Padre. Así que hay tres uno, the three ones, significa importancia. Means there's gotta be something there of importance. The second thing is that it's a prayer for all believers. Es una oración por todos los creyentes. Cada uno que está aquí, every single one of you today here, a believer, you have been, you have come here with a purpose, for a purpose. You may not know what it is right now, but if you ask for wisdom, God will reveal it. Cada uno aquí tiene un propósito. Y ha venido aquí por un propósito. Amen. La tercera cosa, the third thing is, las palabras, the words, complete unity, unidad completa. Church family, we can only have complete unity as a nation, different tongues, if God is in the middle. Solamente con Dios en medio podremos experimentar la unidad completa. Amen. And that should be a reflection in our relationships. You and me, Pastor Don and I, the band, every single one of us here. Eso tiene que ser una reflexión entre cada uno de nosotros, tanto los líderes espirituales como cada uno de nosotros aquí. Somos tan importantes para Dios. We are all important to God. And the last thing, the última cosa, dice, we'll know that you sent me 
Sabrán que tú me has enviado. Lo repite dos veces. ¿Por qué? Why does he repeat it twice in this verse? It's because that's our purpose. That is the purpose of the church. Es el propósito de la iglesia. En unidad, in unity. Para decirle al mundo, to tell the world that God has sent us. We are to reflect God's love and it starts at the church. Amen. El, el, el amor es reflejado en la iglesia. Ya podemos ir al campo misionero. Then we can go to the mission field and show the world who is God. Amen. That God is love. Not love is love. God is love. Dios es amor. Así que te voy a invitar. I'm going to invite you um, to, to later on today or tomorrow to review those verses. If you have any questions, pass it down tonight. We love emails. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we, we, we love good emails. But if you have any questions, any doubts, if you have any questions, por favor, no te quedes con las preguntas. There's no such thing as a bad or dumb question. The only dumb question is the one that doesn't get asked. La única pregunta tonta es la cual no se, no se hace. Amen? So, we're going to pray. We're going to lead into a prayer. And we're going to pray for unity. Vamos a orar por unidad. Say, say it with me. Unidad. Unidad. I like that. I heard that. Turn to the person next to you and say, pray for unity. Now turn to the other one that's with the arms crossed, with the foot, you know, the mouth, like they suck a lemon. And tell them, Jesus loves you. If you're here with your family, hold their hands. Si estás aquí con tu familia, tómalo de la mano. Vamos a hacer una oración en unidad. Amén. That's right. I feel secure about my masculinity. Thank you, God. For my brother in Christ. Let's go to the Lord and pray. Padre amado, Padre santo, Señor celestial. Es en el nombre que es sobre todo nombre, en el nombre poderoso de Jesús. Que venimos, Señor, como una iglesia, como tu familia, clamando, Señor, que tú eres Dios y que tú tenés y tú has dado propósito como tu familia. Señor, solamente podemos ser unidos, caminar en unidad, si tú estás en medio de nosotros. Heavenly Father, it's in the mighty name of Jesus that we come to your presence, holding hands, praying, Father God, to guide us in unity. Just like you have called us to be your church. Father, we need you. Only with you in the middle can we be united. Gracias te damos, Señor. We thank you. And it's in the name of mighty Jesus. En el nombre poderoso de Jesús. Que la familia de la fe, the church family says, Amen, 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 Amen. Drop your hands. that you just received right now to just meditate on it. Ask questions. Share it with somebody else. Hey, that's a thousand. And see what it does. The word never returns um, empty. La palabra nunca regresa vacía. Así que les voy a invitar a todos que se pongan de pie. I'm going to ask everybody to please stand. The praise team is going to take us into a, a beautiful time of praise and worship. El grupo de la más nos va a llevar a un tiempo precioso de adoración. This is God's time. The worship is not for us. The worship is for God. One day you will be eternally worshiping God. Your arms will get tired. And if they do, you're going to have to thank your you hand. Oh, glory to God for that. Un día vamos a estar unidos eternamente adorando al Señor. So let's worship God like we haven't worshiped before. Forget about your problems. Forget about your whether or not you, you put gas in the car, you turn off the light. Don't worry about that right now. Just have the Holy Spirit speak to you and through you. Que el Espíritu Santo hable a ti y a través de ti. Amen. Thankful for your presence. 
and just declare this over them in the name of Jesus. The Lord bless you. Say, the Lord bless you.
There's a restorative work that God's doing this morning. There's a restorative work that God's doing today. Hallelujah. Just begin to marvel at what God is doing on this day. We thank you, Jesus, for the work that is going forth from this congregation. Hallelujah. Not from these two congregations, from this congregation, from this body, Lord God. You are the head and we are the body. And we will obey you with whatever you instruct us, Lord Jesus. We love you so much. Bless these families. Bless these homes. Bless these people. We love you. God bless you all. Have a great rest of your day and a great rest of your week.